Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to avoid WhatsApp vicious messages and scams or snarky messages or scammy messages. Anyway, WhatsApp is a popular communications app created by Meta. WhatsApp is a powerful app because some people use it to talk with people domestically or overseas and it's a beautiful app and it's been around for quite a while from Meta. Uh, you can download the app, you can log in from a website, uh, but going into the WhatsApp app, as you can see you've got several sections of WhatsApp that makes it popular. It allows you to chat back and forth, uh, you can make phone calls, and you can even update your status. And what's more important, it's got Meta built into it. Oh my goodness, can you imagine that? A Meta product that's got Meta AI built into it. You, It's hard to believe. But one of the challenges with WhatsApp is the fact that, like your mobile phone, criminals are starting to move towards WhatsApp and take advantage of unsuspecting people and trying to trick them with a variety of scams and messages on WhatsApp. Unfortunately, in this data age, this digital age that we live in, it's important that you stay tuned to what's going on and make sure that you are staying up to date with all of the various ways that criminals are trying to get your information. Without further ado, let's talk about WhatsApp and some of the scams that you have to deal with. Now, the first scam that you need to deal with is the wrong number scam on WhatsApp. What is the wrong number? Well, cyber criminals, well, let's step back a minute because I always have to explain in every video when we talk about cyber crime that cyber crime is a human problem. And you probably don't believe me, but every device that you own at home and at work is immune to a cyber attack because all devices have firewalls built into it you're using a firewall to connect to the internet. And in most intents and purposes, unless you're using outdated software, most of the security updates that you install for your devices are keeping you safe for those criminals. Criminals realize this, and it's a lot easier to trick a human being into falling for a scam versus getting into a computer or device. So. Most of your scams are socially engineered. That's why criminals are using WhatsApp to attack you. So let's go back to our first scam, which is the wrong number scam. Now this scam works in a way where criminals will try to call you and act like they have the wrong number. Now, why is this a scam? Because criminals, when they use the wrong number scam, will try to chat up and develop a relationship with you as far as the wrong number. Some people understand that it can be embarrassing sometimes to call a wrong number. So when criminals try to engage with you and build rapport with you, it puts you in a situation where criminals can trick you into buying Bitcoin or other forms of cyber currency that can definitely get you in trouble. Now our next one is the impersonation scam. Impersonation scam is when people call you on the WhatsApp app and they may act like they are someone that you already know. Or sometimes they will act like an authority figure to try to get information out of you. Impersonation scams uh, tr try to pretend that there's someone you know on social media calling or someone that you know in the real world and they will stay in contact with you. They also will try to pull out sensitive information from you about yourself and try to feed you information from the person that they are impersonating. So it's always a good practice to verify and organize your WhatsApp account 
so that you know who is calling you. Next on Elix, that job sounds too good to be true. And that's right. There's obviously issues with the job market and recruiters will reach out to you in a variety of ways. Sometimes on social media networks like LinkedIn. Other times it may be through the WhatsApp app. And understand that criminals don't always necessarily have your information like the impersonation scam or the wrong number scam. Sometimes they have a script that they're reading in order to get you to fall for the scam. In this instance, it's a job that is calling for you with way too good pay and too many benefits. So if you get this scam or this type of call, you need to verify and get information from the caller if they will give them out. Find out who is doing the hiring and follow up with their HR department to verify that the job really exists and that they are accepting applications. But keep in mind too, unless you've given out your WhatsApp number to a employer, there's no way that they will call you on your WhatsApp number. Keep that in mind. Next is the WhatsApp account takeover scam. This scam works because criminals want access to your WhatsApp account. You probably didn't realize this, but your WhatsApp account is that can, shouldn't say should, can actually be tied to your Facebook and your Instagram account. In fact, that's what Meta wants, is that they want all of these devices and applications connected. For you, it would be easier to log into your devices with one Meta account. But for criminals, they will attempt to take over your WhatsApp, what, ah, your WhatsApp account by sending you a message saying that they need a verification number that was sent to you. Sometimes that two-step authentication number is bogus. And if you give it to the criminal, then two-step authentication or not, they will be able to take over your WhatsApp account. What's worse is that not only will they be able to take over your WhatsApp account, they'll also be able to take over your Instagram and Facebook account, all of which are housed under the Meta umbrella. Our next scam is dating and romance scams. And this is almost like the phone number scam where somebody will call out of the blue. Sometimes romance and dating scams work because a criminal found your profile on social media and they will try to charm their ways into developing a relationship with you in order for you to fall for what's called a catfish scam. Think about the Tinder swindler. When you think about romance and dating scams on WhatsApp, people are lonely and criminals know this. So they will do everything in their power to try to take advantage of the situation and get you to give out personal details and for you to send money and gifts to criminals abroad and domestic. <laughs> All right. This is my favorite scam out there, and it's called the WhatsApp Gold Scam. Now, the WhatsApp Gold Scam is the holy grail of WhatsApp, or actually, I should say the pot of gold of WhatsApp, because the Gold Scam is a scam that preys on people thinking that there is a higher level of a WhatsApp account, actually WhatsApp Gold. Now, truth be told, there is no WhatsApp Gold app out there. There's no higher level. There's only one level of WhatsApp, and that's WhatsApp from Meta. So if you get criminals that are trying to get you to sign up for WhatsApp Gold by any means necessary, you need to ignore them because there is no such thing as WhatsApp Gold. And let's talk about giveaways or gift scams. Someone contacts you on WhatsApp via phone call or instant message and they have a giveaway or a gift scam for you. You don't accept it 
unless you verify that it's an actual gift that's coming from a legitimate source. Now, one of the dangerous things about WhatsApp is that criminals can contact you in a variety of ways. They can call you and they can send you text messages as well. So it's you almost have to do double duty when using WhatsApp because you never know how a scam is gonna come across. Now, what steps can you do in order to avoid these WhatsApp scams? Pretty simple, but you know, you have to apply a little common sense too. So the first step is to make sure that you stop the conversation. Someone contacts you via text message or voice. If it's someone you don't know, just end the conversation. Don't feel bad about hurting feelings or anything like that. These people don't have any good intentions with you anyway. So you've got to stop the conversation, whether it be text message or a phone call. Next is most of the criminals that set up WhatsApp scams have an account. So if you hear something from a bogus WhatsApp account, be sure to report the account to Meta. Now, people are reluctant to report accounts to Meta because of the whole experience with Facebook and trying to get down fake accounts. Keep in mind, there's several billion accounts tied with Facebook and its associated uh, programs, such as Instagram and WhatsApp. If you report the account, at least it alerts the algorithm of Meta that the account is a harmful account and that it needs to be taken down. It may take some time, but always, always, always report the account. Next is you need to make sure that you're updating your privacy and security settings in WhatsApp. Even though it is a phone app, WhatsApp is just like any other social media app where, or I should say web-based app. It's an app on your phone, but remember that WhatsApp can be accessed from a website, as I showed at the beginning of this video, and you can download the Windows app directly to your device. Being web-based means that you need to install several features. Number one, you need to make sure that your WhatsApp account and Meta accounts have two-step or two-factor authentication. This prevents criminals from logging into your WhatsApp account just by finding it by doing an internet search. Next, you need to make sure that you're using a strong passphrase with your Meta accounts, including WhatsApp. A passphrase is essentially two unrelated words that creates a strong password. Passphrases that you could use would be like stinky elephant. Well, not necessarily because elephants stink. How about stinky rock or fuzzy Camaro? Or even think about dominant rooster or can't say cocky rooster because that's kind of the same thing. But anyway, I think you get the drift of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about using past phrases. But if you lock down your WhatsApp account with two-factor authentication and with using a strong passphrase, it'll make it virtually impossible for criminals to commandeer your WhatsApp account. Now, this won't stop the scams from going or coming through on WhatsApp, but at least protect your account so that your account won't be used to trick people into giving up their personal information. Now, WhatsApp is a great telephone app or voice over IP app, and believe it or not, it is very secure, just like Facebook Messenger. But criminals have ways of using social engineering in order to trick you to talk, fall for a variety of scams. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions about WhatsApp and how to keep your account safe and not fall for scams, Leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you to find out what I can do to help you out. Also, if you're watching this video, be sure to comment, like, and share this video with others that struggle with technology like maybe you do. So the whole purpose of these videos or this video is to open you up to a whole new world of experience and ideas when it comes to the devices and gadgets you use in your daily life. I love technology, I've read all the manuals, and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile, and thanks for watching.